Hello everybody, welcome back to the table. Today we are going to take a look at the Civivi Polymorph. So this is a little multi-tool that comes in the form factor of a carabiner. But since Civivi are the ones manufacturing this, the materials are fairly high-end and we get a few nifty little tools included on this device. This variant I bought is the stonewashed blue anodized version, which I will admit the blue titanium finish on this little tool looks really nice. It's really well done. So the price for this polymorph is $80. You know, for that price, it honestly is kind of hard to recommend, despite the undeniable cool factor that it has. But either way, let's take a look at this tool and everything that it can do. So we have four main uses for this device. The first, of course, is that it obviously works as a carabiner. You know, pretty common sense. The spring action opens the lever about halfway through the opening, so obviously you can hook this carabiner to any number of items. Second, we do have an included bottle opener. In my opinion, bottle openers are absolutely mandatory on any self-respecting multi-tool these days, so they better have included them. Probably one of the standout features of the Polymorph, though, is the utility blade. It uses a standard size X-Acto knife blade, and using the push button, retracts it in and out of the handle, the push button screws and unscrews to hold the blade in, and it makes changing the blade out a toolless process. It also comes with three extra blades in the box, and all of the blades included are a 9CR18 MOV steel. It's marked very tiny. You almost need a microscope to read the text on it, and I always find that kind of interesting. So what also looks neat is that the blade portion of this knife is held to the frame with three T6 Torx screws. So I'm betting if you took these out, the entire bladed section of the tool could probably be removed, uh, which may be handy if you wanted the item to be a little bit more TSA friendly uh, for all your travels. What appears to be most visually striking on this carabiner though, are the included screwdrivers. So we have six odd little bits that rotate around this pivot and there are detents for each bit, so they don't spin freely, and generally it's going to stay on the bit you decide to use. So before buying this, what I have not seen is an actual list of the bits included here, and they can be kind of hard to discern when you're just looking at a picture of the device. So first off, let's go through that. We get a flathead driver. We get one of those smushed Phillips head bits that we see pretty commonly on multi-tools that really want to maximize the amount of space they have. Uh, we also get a 2 millimeter hex bit, as well as an interesting bit that I don't really know what to call. Maybe one of you out there can tell me what this is in the comments. It looks like a hex bit, but it's kind of an oblong shape that I don't really recall ever seeing before. So does anyone out there watching know what this is called? You know, but really for the knife people out there, the most important included bits here are going to be the two Torx bits. So we have a T6 and a T8. So these cover the majority of folding knives out there, so the polymorph can certainly help with making quick adjustments to your folding knives on the go. What I do need to mention about these bits, though, is that they are going to have some limited usefulness depending on what you want to do with them. Uh, so a few scenarios I can think of here, let's say you want to switch a pocket clip or tighten pocket clip screws on your knife. Uh, the, if your knife utilizes a deep carry clip, like a fold-over clip, the bits are just not going to be really long enough to make purchase and unscrew those, those from the handle. Um, so you can definitely use this tool to adjust pivots, to adjust regular non-deep carry pocket clips. It's going to work fine for that. Um, but for most deep carry clips, this is not going to be useful for you. And lastly, on the polymorph here, uh, we do have two openings here in the handle. The first one is a round hole, which is a good place for maybe a key ring or a lanyard. And so no problems there. It works exactly like you would expect it to. But the other one is a bit driver. And so it's going to fit your standard full-size hex bits. And it certainly can accommodate those bits, but they're a little bit of a loose fit. So if you're actually intending to use this a lot, it's going to be, in my opinion, more, more of a last resort type of thing just because of how awkward it would be to keep the bit in the tool as you're using it. I think for most people, the first thing you would compare the polymorph tool is probably another Civivi tool, uh, the Mandate. And so the Mandate is really more of a dedicated utility knife. 
But as you can see here, uh, the Awesome's Stonewash Titanium very much identifies these tools as a Civivi product. I do like the similarities and how the finish looks. They both look really nice. But at less than one ounce, I think the Polymorph is a neat tool. But is it really $80 neat? No, not in my opinion. Um, I would wait for a price drop on this one, you know, unless you absolutely have to have all the features in one item here. Um, but what do you guys think about the Polymorph? Is it worth what they're asking? Um, is there enough positives about this tool to make you want to, to put out the money? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great evening. Goodbye.